Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, talking to you from Old Vitamin Pro, and we're discussing a little bit more about TH1 and TH2. Now, these are elements of the immune system, and they should be in balance. And we get more and more questions about this as this terminology works its way into uh, the popular press. Now, the immune system is uh, obviously highly specialized to decide whether something is friend or foe. Now, the, uh, the lymphocytes are specialized white cells in your body are designed to, to attack these things and you know they uh, start off as unspecialized and we call those TH0 but as they get specialized they go one way or the other they're going to go to the TH1 or the TH2 side now TH1 refers to what's called T helper cell 1 and TH2 obviously T helper cell 2 and there are two other categories that are, that are common it's TH3 and TH17 and we won't get into those very much today but the important thing is that these things stay in balance. Now the uh, TH1 tends to go after things inside the cell, such as maybe viruses or, uh, or chlamydia, you know, small bacteria, uh, maybe some types of yeast that are small that get in the cell. So they will, they will attack those. And outside the cell, that would be more um, like maybe um, attacking staph infection or, or um, maybe a foreign protein of some kind. So, with this TH1 and TH2, if, um, if your body has had some kind of chronic infection, you might become dominant one or the other. So, if you're TH1 dominant, then the TH2 response is not going to be so good, and vice versa. So, the idea here is to try to get these things balanced out so your body can attack whatever it needs to, to go after. <coughs> so... To, to tell which kind of dominance, there are a couple of different ways of going about this. One, maybe you could use a blood test, and with that we can measure cytokines. Now the cytokines are little chemical messengers that, uh, that, help, um, that help in the communication system of the immune, uh, immune response. So, you know, the blood test is a, certainly a good way to go. Um, of course, that, that's going to cost uh, some money. So another way you can, you can actually self-diagnose this, and I have another uh, thing written up about this, but, so I won't go into great detail. But the, the important thing is that if you, if, uh, you use a supplement like uh, Apex x for example, that tends to be a, a TH1 support. So if you're TH1 dominant and you take a bunch of x let's say maybe two, uh, two of those or three of those three times a day, you're going to push that TH1 response even farther and you're going to create even greater imbalance and when that happens you're, uh, you're just not going to feel quite right. So now the, the opposite of that is XFLM, uh, that's a TH2 uh, pusher. So basically if you're TH1 dominant and you take something that brings up that TH2 a little bit, then that, that's going to help you feel better. So uh, that's one way you can tell which is which you need to take. And of course, a couple other things that are important is vitamin D and glutathione. So this, this helps improve um, the TH17 response, which helps, helps balance out the TH1 and TH2. So if, you're, um, so if you are in balance, you're going to want to figure out, do I want to take Xpiramin or XFLM? But you're also going to be taking glutathione and vitamin D. Our favorite vitamin Ds right now, um, there's some liquid ones, but we actually prefer the pills and Metagenics D3-5000 or Thorn uh, D10,000, depending on how much you need. So that's a kind of a brief overview of the TH1 TH2, and uh, hopefully you find that helpful, and there'll be some more written up on the website about this too, so to, to help you walk through it. So thanks a lot for listening.